Hello CMU students and welcome to The Update, your one-stop shop for coverage on all MESA related headlines, events, and announcements. With that being said, let's press ahead, hop right in, and get the scoop of the week. Hello everyone, I'm Justin Platt. Located here on Isolation Island, staying a safe, socially distant, and court-mandated 60 feet away from Kelly. And I'm Kelly Ortega. Let's take a look at what's new in the news this week. Starting off the week, there are no planned events on Monday, so stay inside, relax, and maybe try to study a bit. But you know, only if you feel up to it. Then on Tuesday, why not start off your week by going outside and getting some sun? with some fun beach volleyball held at the Varsity Sand Courts at 5 p.m. After you've gotten enough vitamin D, why not pass go and get that money with some Monopoly at CMU Game Night located at the UC South Patio starting at 8 p.m. Also in the news this week, tell me, do you bleed? Well, if you do, St. Mary's Regional Blood Center will be accepting blood donations from 11 to 2 on Wednesday. With COVID-19 dominating health coverage in the news lately, we sometimes forget about the other medical emergencies plaguing the world. And a simple donation of your blood can go a long way to helping a lot of people. Also on Wednesday, if you've ever dreamt about being on the Dream Team, well, now you can. Only instead of Magic Johnson, it'll be Steve from Geometry. And instead of Michael Jordan, you'll have the weird kid who eats paste. CMU will be hosting a 3v3 basketball tourney at the outdoor courts starting at 5 p.m. Then on Thursday, dance like nobody's watching at Glow in the Dark Zumba at 7 p.m. on the football practice field. After a great workout shaking what your mama gave you, why not go out and spend the money she also gave you at Robinson Theater for the Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed, The Rock Experience at 7.30. For Friday, for Friday, CMU Sports are back. Make sure to watch the men's lacrosse scrimmage at 7 p.m. at the Maverick Field on Friday. Then go from watching them hit the sticks to literal hit sticks with CMU football scrimmage at Stoker Stadium at 12 p.m. on Saturday. Friendly reminder, athletic events are only open to CMU students, faculty, and staff. Then end your night with a union of fun by attending PAX Concert Night featuring a union of none at 8 p.m. on Delta Field. Finally, to end your weekend, enjoy jazz and commercial ensembles at the Academic Quad at 3 p.m. on Sunday. Now that we've heard about all the hot events going on in CMU this week, let's hear about the outrageous heat going on in all of Colorado. Here's Dalen with the weather. Hey folks, Dalen here with the weather. It's hot. But there's also been some other weather phenomena around the Grand Valley area, so let's talk about it. For about a month and a half now, the Pine Gulch fires have raged, just 20 minutes away from where you and I stand today at CMU. The fires have taken up approximately 140,000 acres of land, quickly becoming the largest fire in Colorado history. Just to the east of that, we have the Grizzly Creek Fire, which shut down I-70 for a few weeks. Thankfully, the major highway has since been reopened, but the Pine Gulch Fire continued. The Grand Valley area did suffer a few small effects due to these fires, mainly in the form of smoke, which drastically reduced the visibility of both the Colorado National Monument as well as the Grand Mesa. The smoke has since dissipated, only to be quickly replaced by the fires from California. But hey, at least it's sunny. Back to you in the studio. Thank you for that weather update, Dalen. Now that we've wrapped up the week, thank you so much for joining us on this week's episode of The Update. I'm your host, Kelly Ortega. And I'm Justin Platt. We'll see you next week with more fun and important information. See you soon and stay updated.